Hey Titans, this is Mickett, just going to do a recap of our last war. Unfortunately, we lost by one point. Uh, we could have pulled this out and it just didn't quite work out, but uh, had some good uh, um, attacks here. I'm going to highlight just a few. Uh, they did a great job of getting a lot of points up high. That's what really helped them. Of course, they had five Town Hall 10, so that caused us some problems, but we were able to pull off a lot of three stars and so you can take a look, 24 to 22. So we did pretty well there, but we just didn't quite pull it out in the end, and we had some points we could have gotten. But uh, that's how it works out sometimes. Uh, I'm going to highlight a few things here. I'm going to highlight two different types of attacks. I'm going to do a, uh, a go wipe attack and also going to do a, uh, a hog attack uh, of mine, just so I can kind of explain why I do some things. Uh, basically, a couple three stars up here. I'll just do number six and number eight here. I'm going to start off with Nori. I'm going to replay this, and I'm going to highlight a few things here. First of all, uh, this was a, a down-to-the-wire one, uh, so there wasn't a lot of time left on here, but let me just highlight a few things of what you've got here when you're looking at this. Basically, uh, a go wipe is going to try and take in some high-level golems, uh, which he has, and going to bring those in to tank, and you're going to bring in wizards behind there. The idea is you want to try and funnel them in such a way that they're going to funnel into the middle, and then once they get in the middle, uh, they take out the town hall, but they're also still tanking in the middle while all the other... Um, uh, whether it be witches or wizards or pekkas or uh, the pekkas will probably be in the middle, but the other witches and wizards and the heroes will be taking around some things either around the outside or from the inside, taking out some of those structures that you see here. Uh, this is a pretty decent level, high level base, except for the walls are pretty weak here. Uh, which is it's actually very helpful to, for go wipe. Now, one of the things that often you see in go wipe as well is that usually in go wipe you will just run right into the um, CC troops. You don't draw them out because you've got guys to tank for them and you have the wizards right behind them. Usually it's just not worth wasting the extra time. Uh, go wipe is notorious for having trouble finishing. Now, I, I want to show this for a reason that Nori actually uses some back-end loons there. If you take a look at, he has five loons that are in there. Now, his are only level five. If his had been level six, he actually would have uh, done a lot more damage. I'll show you towards the end, but I just wanted to show you this so that you could at least get the concept of uh, how it, it's done. It's a great way to do it to be able to remove them uh, towards the end. Uh, it doesn't work out as well in this exact one uh, through really no fault of his own, but uh, just the fact that they just aren't quite powerful enough to pull it off. However, he still pulls out the three star, so uh, does a great job through the use of his queen. So I'm going to run this now. I'll stop running my mouth and I'll run the uh, the replay here. So we're going to start off here, and the first thing he's going to do is drop those golems, okay? And then he drops one out of the CC, so that's a level 5 golem. Now you'll see that the uh, they draw out the uh, wizards and the witch, and basically those are going to come up there, and they're, they're doing a lot of damage right there on that golem. Uh, the wizards are going to come behind here though, while the uh, wizards are all focusing on the golem, and the other wizard's going to take out the CC wizards. Now, he drops his uh, rage and a jump spell, and you see they get right in there. Now, he's fortunate. The Pekka's go in there and take that uh, uh, giant bomb out there, and then even really, look at that one wizard there. I'm just going to pause it for a second. That one wizard right there in the middle, with the golem's just about to pass him, that's going to do a significant amount of damage right here. A wizard under rage does an incredible amount of damage. If you have a couple of them, it's great. So the key to go wipe is to try and keep those guys behind. Now you see up here that these guys have started to wander out on their own. However, because they're going to slow down a little bit and there's no defenses right next to them right away, that Barbarian King is going to catch up and going to tank for them as well. And he essentially acts like a golem over there. And then you notice how he has this Archer Queen. His Archer Queen is going to go around and take out some of these outside structures, which is great because otherwise the outside structures would be hitting that, that those wizards on the outside or the, the wizards on the back end here. So anyways, let's keep this going here. He's still has a heal and a rage here. Now one mistake that a lot of people do is they try and heal their um, the golems. That's not a and that's not really what he's doing there, right there. He's trying to heal uh, as many things as he can, but it's uh, the Pekkas as well. Don't worry about healing the golems. They just can, they can only take as much healing as anything else. But that wizard, keeping that one wizard healed there, watch how he keeps doing all this damage. And uh, then the Archer Queen's going to come behind. Now, go ahead and watch down here. He's dropped those loons. Look at, look at all these defenses. They're all facing up here. 
They're all distracted. Meanwhile, these loons are coming from behind to surprise them. The unfortunate part is because this one AD is here, and these are level five loons instead of six. Uh, that AD is going to take down a lot of them. And you'll see how close he gets to taking down a bunch of these defenses that if they'd just been a little bit higher, which I'm sure he's working on, but if, if they were just a little harder, higher, it would have easily taken down all those things to, and had extra to spare. Uh, however, uh, they do get taken down pretty quickly by the AD. You'll see. I think he might get the one one defense out of there, but uh, yeah, he gets the archer tower there, but then that's it. Um, over on the bottom part here, he gets a little bit, but he doesn't quite take out as much as he hopes to. Now he does his uh, Barbarian King Rage there just to be able to kind of get him into the thick of things and to heal him up a little bit. Uh, one thing that a lot of people make a mistake of is, is they use that uh, Barbarian King Rage way early. And um, I really suggest that you wait because it does some healing. If you use it really early, then um, you won't even get the maximum amount of healing. Now look at this queen is going to do a yeoman's work trying to come through here. And uh, I love this. We'll turn just at the right time so she won't get shot totally up. Watch this. She'll come in here. She'll take out the wizard tower. Well, I'll take out a few other things first. I'm going to kind of speed it up through here. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Going to hit that wizard tower. Starts to get smacked by the archer tower gonna die and then she walks away just out of the distance which really really helps because then it gives this time to be able to work on these other buildings which are slightly closer uh, I'm gonna speed through this um, one thing an archer queen uh, power is very good for if you aren't using it to defend and, to, and try and get away from uh, buildings to, to hide from them and to get them untargeted is uh, very good for going through walls because she is slow going through walls with that ability now watch this look, look how close this is this is great she gets over there. She only has the one building left and really has like six seconds left. That is like pretty much what she had there. And she takes the thing out. Good job by Nori. Really good plan. Well executed. Uh, good job. And I'm uh, so you can take that as a good go wipe example. All right. I'm going to now hop on to, uh, well, people are talking a lot here. Okay. All right. I'm going to hop on to uh, uh, my replay now because I have to hi my, highlight my replay, but because at least I know why I did certain things and why I didn't do certain things. Now, one of the things that's interesting about this, um, because I'm doing a replay, you can't quite see it, but if I target it on something, he has a hole right here in this base here. There's a space that you can be able to put. Now, what I didn't know is I didn't know if those were Teslas. I didn't know if they were uh, uh, bombs, but I figured either way it would be easy to be able to set those things off. And it, it, fortunately, there were bombs. That worked out perfectly. Uh, if they were Teslas, at least I would have known that there were Teslas there. But one of the things that the reason why I picked this as a uh, a good one to use hogs on, you can see I brought 28 hogs plus I believe I have six in the uh, in the uh, uh, CC. Uh, one of the reasons why this is good is there's only really two decent places to put. Uh, the the giant bombs there uh, that next to each other, which of course is the the killer for hogs. And I would say the first place that's the decent place is that one right there. However, what he should do is he really should have just like he has over on here. He has that one little piece sticking out right there. If he had that right there, he could be able to put those side by side, and he wouldn't have a hole in his base that you could set those things off. You just have to fear the hole. Now the other places you could put, this wouldn't be a bad place if you put one on the top side here next to the cannon and one right next to the um, uh, wizard tower. Not great, but it would work uh, potentially to be able to do that. I guess this is one other place you could put them across the side of the wall. That sometimes works really well uh, depending on how the pathing goes. Uh, so basically what I decided to do is I, I get lucky because you see this archer queen that's in here. Uh, normally you have to take that thing out uh, and I'm going to have to try and uh, do a, a pretty deep incursion to be able to pull the CC, but I don't have to because of that hole there. I can be able to pull out a little bit there, set off those giant bombs, and then I'm going to bring some hogs over here, and it doesn't quite do as much. It's not quite as good as I'd hoped, but you can see I'm going to drop just one barb there, sets off both of those, total waste of both of those bombs. And then I'm going to do a draw over here. I, I drop some surgical, I'm doing a surgical hog basically, dropping that guy to take some of the, the tanking. And then the hogs are in there doing the damage. And they don't quite take down that, wi that wizard tower because there are so many wizards in there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something, a little trick here. Okay, look at this, wiz the witch. Okay, the wizards are there and the witch is there. Now look at the skeletons there. Okay, one of the tricks that I've learned to do is I put down, uh, if it's out of the range, put down a, uh, uh, a minion over there. 
Now, because the skeletons can't attack the minion, the skeletons will stay there the whole time until that minion is taken down, and then they'll strike forward. Well, that means that witch is or is the whole time wandering out there exposed, and she doesn't make any more uh, skeletons. I think she has the max in her number. So take a look at this. So, so she's just wandering out there. See how that's going across there? She's wandering across the middle, which is exactly what you want. You don't want those skeletons up front. Now, unfortunately, my, <laughs> my minion is high enough that he actually took down a building. I wish he just stayed there but it didn't work out that way. So now I have to put down some other things here. And I put down some barbs, and then all of a sudden the skeletons start running to catch up with that witch. Um, if you're lucky and it's not all the way on the other side, you can a lot of times get a witch very exposed because of that. If I had decided to drop over here, for example, I could have probably gotten that witch all the way out there. I didn't do that for a very specific reason. I like this side more, and I like being able to attack into the archer queen with my hero. So anyways, going in here, you can see I dropped those witches. Now, one of the things, too, that I've seen, now, if you have them in your CC, you can't, you can't bother this with this, but um, I, I can't really back up the tape. But one of the things I've learned is barbarians are so much better to take with witches. Um, take a couple of barbarians. Don't worry about the archers so much because the archers are going to stop right where the wizards and the witches stop, especially the wizards. Um, where the barbs will run right forward and they'll take the first line of defense. Meanwhile, the wizards get to line up and be able to take down whatever it is. Uh, the barbs work better than uh, archers, just remember that. Now the other thing I did is I staggered my witch drop here. So you drop one, wait a second or two, and then drop the other one. And that way the uh, skeletons are coming in at different rates. They're not all at one time because these wizards are going to take down skeletons. But if there's other skeletons coming in right behind them, it's going to be hard for them to get them all. Okay, so let me go forward here. Now, I make a mistake here. I did not mean to drop my Barbarian King. That was just force of habit. I meant to drop my Archer Queen. And what I was going to do is I was going to wait for a little bit, drop my Barb King right in here. She was, that Archer Queen is going to hop across the wall, and I'm just going to aggro her by using his thing, and then the Archer Queen is gone. However, that didn't work out that way because... I was a nummy. I dropped my Barbarian King there, which is usually what I do, so that he can kind of tank for the uh, the other um, troops there. Now it works out okay. I bring in these guys here. It's only a level five Archer Queen, so it's not going to be do so, do too much damage. But one of the things that because I I didn't bring a uh, I wasn't expecting to go in there and have to try and take her down uh, through the external. I was going to go through the hole there. I ended up dropping my. Um, once my hogs are in there, I end up dropping the three um, giants that I was going to use in there to tank for that Barbarian King. Dropping them just to distract them. And if you notice as I go through here, there's a lot of stuff shooting at those that are not shooting at the hogs. So the hogs, I get kind of a free ride here for a little bit while the hogs come in here. Then I drop my heel down there just to be able to do some major healing. Um, I wish I had dropped it a little bit to the left there, but that's okay. I make up for it because I've got four heal spells. And these guys are going all around the inside. But when I see that one, I drop another heal spell shortly here. Oh, I brought in the CCs there. Um, now, one of the things, this is what you fear right here with this queen. This queen is just sitting there taking out these hogs. The hogs will not turn on her until all the defenses are gone. That's why I usually try and take down that queen right away. As I said, I had a brain lapse or something like that, and so my barbarian king is sitting way out here, and I wanted him in on the queen, but eh, it worked out okay. All right, because I still have a bunch of hogs. I'm still, uh, I still have an extra heal, doing just fine. Yeah, I'm losing a few hogs here and there, but I've got room to spare. All right, so they come down here. Now, if you, if, one of the things that that I I will also highlight is that I tend to draw, uh, drop a lot of other things around the outside. So you notice I still have four wizards. So I'm going to back up a little, and you'll see I'll start dropping them. I, don't, I actually don't remember. I'd have to watch replay. I'm pretty sure I would drop one over here in the corner here, because what I do is I break this funnel for these guys, and I'd be able to take some of these things down. Uh, I probably will drop one over here just to give a little more tanking to that town hall in the middle. Uh, the biggest thing right now that's the fear is actually that um, that expo right there on, on the hogs. But um, if you have uh, the hogs under heal, though, the expo can't take them down. So I'm going to drop a heal here just to be able to kind of keep them up there. The expo can't take down hogs under heal. Not max hogs, anyways. Okay. So anyways, uh, keeping going, as I said right now, you see that queen, she's still alive. She's still taking out my hogs. Now, fortunately, my hogs get out of the range. By that time, my archer queen's in here. Queen on queen, she starts hitting them. I hit the ability and take that down, take out some, some uh, walls, and it's all over but the crying. Here we go. I'll just fast forward a little bit here, have a few hogs, quite a bit. Um, let me show you. Look at these, these skeletons and these witches, okay? 
which is over here, which are hitting the wall, which is always very frustrating. But one of the things I really like is when you've got a lot of things around the outside, the reason why I choose to bring witches instead of bringing like wizards or, um, I mean, I bring some wizards, but instead of bringing a ton of wizards, a ton of archers, is the archers will not take down nearly as many buildings. Whereas you see by the time the hogs are done with everything, the outside buildings, they just finished and there's really not, there's not many outside buildings left because the uh, skeletons have gone around and taken out the whole thing. And if there was any giant bombs around the outside, the skeletons would trip across them first and the witches would just make more. So that's one of my favorite things. Now it does help to have a level 17 queen who's Skyping, the, or Skyping, <laughs> sniping. She may be Skyping too, I don't know. But she's sniping the town hall. And boasting about it and Skyping like her friends, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so not much left here. Just going to speed forward here. Plenty of time left and uh, three stars. So that worked out uh, according to plan, even though I didn't follow my plan. And uh, anyways, we did pretty well here. Uh, we, we, had an, we had more points to get. We had them up high. We had them down low. And it's unfortunate we weren't able to pull it off. But a good war. And... Uh, We'll, we'll, the next one looks very promising, so we should be good. Anyways, make sure that you like and subscribe, and go Titans!